today I'm going to show you how to build a super simple Wither Skeleton Skull farm for Minecraft. And it's actually really efficient too, so if I just whack my sword like this, a sweeping edge, it's beautiful, it looks amazing. A sweeping edge is amazing. This farm's crazy and crazy for how simple it is. So I'm going to show you how it works and also I'll show you a tutorial. And I'll have the item list in the description, so go check that out now. You'll see that your items are really not that bad, it's like... You get you really don't need that much at all. So I'm gonna show you how it works. Okay, so first of all I'm gonna go through the fortress, so try and build it in either a soul sand valley or a warped forest. And that will mean that you don't have to spawn proof anything at all really. And then right here, as you can see, we've used river roses. Now these have the special ability that only wither skeletons can actually spawn on them, so you'll only get wither skeletons here. So we have put dogs on each end, so on each corner we'll have a dog here, that's to scare the wither skeletons, as from here the wither skeletons can't actually see the piglin, so it won't be able to go and try and attack it, so that's why we have walls on each end, and that will just speed up the wither skeletons, as like you really don't want to be wasting time with this farm, like it really speeds up the farm if you have this sort of setup. And then right here we've got a nether portal, you do need some obsidian, so you could pass through piglins to get obsidian, or just mine it in the end. It really doesn't matter, but we've got a piglin in the middle. Now make sure to name that tag the piglin, otherwise it will despawn. And we've just got a couple of um, trap doors covering up so that it doesn't escape. We've got the same thing on the other side, and then we've got a glass ball, and that's to stop the wither skeletons from escaping. As you can see over here, that's wither skeleton scared the dog. So run there, and then in a second it will probably see the piglin, and it will go through. So it does take a bit of time, but that doesn't really matter too much. And we've got the same sort of setup on the other side. As you can see here, we've also got pressure plates here, and that's for pack spawning. If you don't know what pack spawning is, then I'll show you a small example. So if a wither skeleton was supposed to spawn here, but then it's pack, so mob spawning packs, but it's pack was supposed to spawn here, instead of spawning, instead of not being able to spawn, it will actually spawn here instead of like not spawning at all. But if this area wasn't here, then its pack will just exist here, and none of the mobs would have been able to spawn, so it would just cancel that. So that's why we have these pressure plates here for pack spawning. Now we don't have, have to do too many, we only have like four across here, and then we have the glass of soft spawns here as well. So we've got like a five sort of wide area for pack spawning, which is perfect. Okay, so now we've got two nether portals here, one's linked up to the area where the wither skeletons would have spawned, and the others linked up to the area where you kill the wither skeletons. So over here, as you can see, we've got a boat with two chickens inside. And you're probably wondering, what is this? Like, you're probably quite confused what it is. Now, as if you think about it though, when mobs go through nether portals, they kind of just stand there and do nothing, and they're not really moving out of it. So what we need to do is we need to put a boat here, and that will move the wither skeletons out of the nether portal and into this lava area here. And this is like a small timer in a way, so they'll go across here quite slowly. So after a mob has gone through a nether portal, it takes a bit of time before they can go back through one. So we need to make this sort of short timer. And then once they get up to the top, so we have a bubble column up here. And then into this nether portal here, um, they should be able to go through perfectly. As it does take a bit of time for them to go through. So now I'm going to go through to the other side. We've got the same chicken set up on the other side. Okay, so first you're going to need to find a suitable location, so remember either a Wart Forest or a Soul Sand Valley. And then try and find a crossroad, so this is what a crossroad will look like. So you can see you've got like a cross, from here it looks like a big cross. Like, like X marks the spot where you need to build it. So try and find one of these crosses, and then we're, it's going to be 19 by 19. So we're going to, from the centre, so if we find the centre, it's right here. We're going to have to go 19 out from each area. So as you can see, this is... Not 19, I mean 9. 9 from each... 9 from each area, so... The whole thing will be 19 by 19, but... You need to go 9 out, so... Over here, this is actually 9... Over here, it kind of like cuts out itself. Over here, where this block is, I already marked it out. It's 9, this one here, and also this one there. So once you can mark that out, you're gonna have to break all this. So make sure just to break these in out. So they're out of the way, so you don't have to break that one actually. You can just get that rid of that. So you just have to break all of this, it's going to get in the way. So, okay, so now we're going to move on to the next bit. So now we're going to make a square shape, so this is going to be a square, so each side will be equal. 
So it will be 19 by 19 square. So if we go across here like that, make it this level, so the level where the path was, because that's where the spawning area will be. And we're going to have two layers. You could, if you want to, have three layers and build this even lower or build a lower version. But you might have to spawn proof a little bit more, like with the fortress. But you can if you want, if you want to increase the rates a lot. I'm definitely going to be testing that sort of thing out um, after I finish making this video. So if you want to, you can too. So if you just make a square shape like this, and you've got, got to fill this whole square shape in. So you need to replace this with a with Neverrack too. And this all has to be Neverrack. Make sure it's that. And if you're wondering if Endermen are going to break this, they shouldn't be able to because they'll because they'll be roses on top of here, and they won't be able to spawn here and do that sort of thing. So don't worry about that at all. Okay, so your area should look something a bit like this. So as you can see, this whole area is filled with Neverrack. Now we can plant River Roses on here, but first before we do that, we just have to get a piglin in the middle. As if we put all the river roses in now, it will be quite a lot of work getting the piglin in because you don't want it to die from all the river roses. Now, I know like if you're in a warp forest, piglins are quite hard to get hold of, but you might be able to find like a never waste nearby. I'm quite lucky with that sort of thing. If you want the seed, it will be in the description below. So if you want to have this survival sort of experience, then whatever. So first you're going to have to get a piglin. So before I get it in, I'm going to make like a little surface here. Trapdoors in the middle like that and then I can go out here and just place him in like this and this to stop him from being attacked and him from escaping as well or her whatever gender is so now we've got this central bit here now we put piglin in the middle well not a baby piglin an adult there we go perfect and we'll name tag in and my general name tag is person so that should be fine now we're going to add a never portal sort of section here. So we're not going to add the never portal yet, we're just going to mark it out. And then we're going to cover the whole thing in with river roses, so make sure it's all with roses. Okay, so now we're going to move on to the outer ring, so this will be for pack spawning. Now this is a bit optional, but I highly highly advise it, otherwise it's going to decrease your rates quite a bit. So definitely consider doing pack spawning. So this is the pack spawning bit. If you don't want to do it, then just move on. But whatever. It's much better if you do pack spawning, just saying. So with pack spawning, we're going to have to go out. So you can either use just blocks with pressure plates on, or even just glass, whatever. Just there's a block that they can't spawn on. So I'm going to use glass because it's convenient. So if I go out five blocks like this, so that's four actually. If I go out five blocks, and I want to fill this whole area around here, so a bit like this. So I have like a ring, you know, like Saturn's rings and everything. I have a ring around it, which is made of glass. And if this is in the way, then just break it. Just break it out of the way, because you don't need it. And we're probably going to have to break this anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Just break as much as this as you can, um, just so you can have this outer ring in place. So we're going to have to go out all around here. We're going to mark it all out. So if I go out here, so if I break all this, and I'm going to have to place all of this in. Okay, so your farm should look something a bit like this. If it doesn't have the glass, then you can just have it like this. So if you don't have the glass, then you have this sort of setup with either buttons or like um, pressure plates or something like that. So you should have something that looks a bit like this. So it doesn't really matter if it's like glass or pressure blocks of pressure plates on it. It doesn't really make any difference. So now we're going to make an inner wall. So this will stop all the mobs from escaping. You really don't want mobs to escape, it'll be really annoying if they like escape and stuff like that. So if you just make an inner wall like this, and it also stops other mobs from getting in as well. Even though it doesn't really make any difference, like... I don't know really, I can't really think of an example why it, there'd be any point in mobs getting in, but... Just saying. Like, you won't get wither skeletons escaping, because you really don't want that to happen, otherwise you're gonna just lose rates, like... It's not worth it. So now we're gonna go on to into corners here. And we're going to place some blocks in. And this is not exactly where the corner is. You can leave one block here if you want. It doesn't make any difference. And then for each one, we're going to put a wolf on. And then we're going to tame it and to make a dog. You might, not, you might want to do the dog bit first. And then a trapdoor on top. Now we do this on each corner. And this is, stop, um, this is to scare the wither skeletons into the center where the piglin is. And then once you've done that, you make a nether portal. So, if I break that, 
that's in the way. We're just going to make a simple nether portal. These nether portals are bigger than the normal nether portals. Just saying. So you might need a bit more obsidian if you're thinking of making a normal nether portal. So just fill this all in with nether portals and then light them. Like that. And then yours will be pretty much done. Okay, so your farm should look a little bit like this. So as you can see, you've got the nether portals all in place. So all of these nether portals should be lit and we should have all the dogs in place too. And make sure you have the pack spawning bit as well, that's important. You don't have to have it if you don't want to, but it doesn't matter. So now if you're going to add an extra section, so if you're going to make a top section. Now, as you can see, you can see where it starts. So the bottom bit here is where the wood roses will be on top of. And you'll have that on top of here, so where the nether portal is here. So on this section here, you'll have a free block up here. And then also here, it will just be normal. And if you're going to do an underground one too, do the same sort of setup as this in here. So that's only optional though. And doing an underground one, it's not really advised because you still get like loads of, you get loads of drops anyway. So it's really optional if you're going to do extra heights, but it really doesn't make any difference. So now when I go through this portal, I might end up on the other side for that one. Okay, so for this next bit, you're going to have to go up into the bedrock, above the bedrock actually. So make sure you know how to get up there. And if you really don't know how to, then I have got a tutorial linked up into the corner there which will show you how to get onto the nether roof and how to break the bedrock which will be vital for making this farm so what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to go into the F3 menu and then add. we're going to have to add a 127 to whatever Y level you're at so for me I'm at Y76 so this is Y76 right here um, I'm going to have to go up to Y203 so if I go up all the way there now so I'm going to go from the centre here because I like having a central point, it, it's nice to look, nice for it to look symmetrical and everything. So if I go up to one, 223, so... Okay, so I'm at the AFK point, which I said, which is at Y203, so... Over there, as you can see, that's, a, that's the other AFK point, it's actually exactly the same height. Because both farms are exactly the same height. As you can see, it's filling up quite quickly, it's probably going to cause quite a bit of lag. No, that's how quick this farm is, it's like crazy. So, so this is going to be the collection system. So I'm not going to show you how to make a, a hopper sorting system. I'm going to have a card link up there um, in in the corner for that sort of thing because I need don't need to go through that in this tutorial. So I'm going to have two hoppers going across here, some slabs here, some glass across here, and we're going to go up with this glass right here, like that. And then we're going to have a nether portal here. Now I'm going to deal with the nether portals neck on the next bit, but first I just want to make this section here. So all the wolf skeletons are going to go flying out of here. So we'll have this section here. Now if you want to, you can add eggs to stop the... to convince the zombie pigmen to get out of that portal. Because sometimes they'll spawn in the portal and kind of just glitch there and just stay there. So you're probably going to want to do that. So just saying. And then that's your AFK point done. Now if you want to, you can add a little side here just so you don't fall off. That's what I've done in there. I've kind of like covered it up completely. And also make sure to add slabs on top of here. Like that. So that's your thing done. Okay, so now onto the most confusing bit, but also one of, actually one of my favourite bits as well, which is linking the nether portals. So I've kind of done all the maths for you in a way. So how you're gonna do it is you're gonna need to go through go into your onto your farm. Now go to the level which your farm is. So I'm gonna go on the glass here. This is Y76. So now what we're, what we're going to do is we're going to have to do some math. So we're going to have, have to go. So what is half of 128? Well, that is equal to ooh, 64. So we're going to have to go add 64 to 76, which is 140. So if I go through here, you're going to have to make another portal at Y 140. So I've actually already done that right here. So this is Y 140. So I'm standing, so that should link up perfectly. And I'm going to go go up one block here, and then we're going to make another nether portal across here. This is going to be for the AFK section. This just needs to be a few blocks above, so like that. So one block between them, and then this is going to be where the stream is, and this is going to be like the delay. Up here, we'll link another portal at to, at, to, at the top. So that will be linked to the top area. So make sure that is one block above. So 
Okay, so now we're going to make sure this top sector is linked with the top portal in the overworld. So if I light this right, right here, and if I go through the portal, I should come out of the top portal, which is here. So perfect. Both portals are linked up, which is really good. So that's an easy way of linking the portals up. You can't, can't do it any other way. You can't do it from the top area below, because that's not how level portals work. They are a bit confusing, but after time you'll probably like understand them a bit better. Now we're going to build the stream that goes across here, and that will transport all the mobs. So if we go across here, we're just going to get some glass over here. So actually, I'm going to build this downwards, actually. So if I build this here, it will be much better, because they'll drop down and everything like that. They won't be able to get back up. So if I go across like that, and if I just place some 10 blocks here, just get some glass on the side, and that should be fine. Now we're going to get the lava, so... We'll have some lava across here. As you may have remembered, there's there's actually boats with chickens inside there, so that'll be added later on. But first, we want to make this bit because it's because this bit should come first, and then we'll do the chicken bit, which shouldn't be too hard. That's like chickens are easy to get. So just put some signs here. You don't have to write anything on them if you want to. You can, but really, no one's going to see this, so I don't see the point in writing anything. And then we'll just go across here. So I'm going to go one over here. And we're going to have a water stream going down here, so we're going to have to go, go down here and we'll have like a lower area here. And then we'll have a cobblestone wall across here. Some glass. We're just putting 10 blocks here, these aren't like proper blocks that we'll need to use. You need to use. So now we're going to go across here with soil sand, we just need two bits. Some glass up here. Just here to encase it. And then we're going to put some signs across here. I haven't turned the game ball daylight cycle off, so that's why it's probably going to turn to night in a minute. And then you should have this sort of setup here. So this will move all the mobs, this will move the mobs in place and they'll go across here. So now, next, we're going to have to have like another setup. So I'll go across here like that. Just some temp blocks. We don't need these. And some walls are going across here, perfect. So now we put some blocks up here, some water here, like that. And as you can see, I'll demonstrate. As you can see, I'll be moved to here. So if I put a roof up here. Okay, so now we're going to replace this with slabs. This is just so the wither skeletons can actually get in here because this is a bit too small. And then we'll put water here. So as you can see, the water won't be escaped because the slab's in the way. Now we're going to go up with glass, so... What I like to do is I like to like make a little section here, so we know where we're going. So I'm going to go up here, then up here, and we'll have like a platform going across here. This is all going to be water. And then we'll go up like this. Now you can use ice for the water bit. In the item list it will just say water sources. Because like, you can just use ice if you want, I won't say water buckets or anything like that. Because I know lots of people use ice as water. Because I do too as well, it's like more convenient. And then I'll go across like this with the glass. And then a bit like this. And then down here, make sure it's down here. Otherwise the water will escape and it'll be quite annoying. And then we're going to make an extra section up here. Now an issue that I sometimes encounter is like mobs shoot up and it gets quite of annoying. So wait, let's see the walls over here, perfect. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a temp block here, some slabs up here, and then some slabs on top of here like that, and then also I'm going to slab off this as well, some mobs some spawning. I know like it's kind of not needed really, but I'll just do it anyway. And then I'm going to make an extra bit here, so I'm going to have it even taller so the mobs really can't escape. You don't want to lose rates, it'll be annoying. And then this bit at the top, I'll do the same. I know it probably won't happen, but it's just worth doing it anyway. And then you're done. Now we're going to move on to the, pretty much the last bit. So now we're going to get some blocks. We're just going to make the portal bit. So this will like move the mobs out of the portal. So why don't I have a boat? That's quite silly. So I get a boat right here. That's what we're going to need for this trick. So we're going to use a boat to stop the mobs from, us, from like, like staying in the portal and it's just going to waste time. Like you really don't want to waste time. So if I go across here like with a boat, I've got a little platform. 
So we've got the blocks here to stop the boat from escaping, so I really want to line this up nicely. And if I go out here, perfect. This should be fine. So now I'm going to get some chickens. Now you can use just chicken, normal eggs to get the chickens. As it's... Oh, move that out of the way. If I move that back. Perfect. So if you can just use normal um, eggs, and then just throw the eggs around, and you might get a chicken. You'll get a baby chicken to start off with, but it'll still go, still go in the boat. So put a chicken here. This is a rubbish one, actually. So if I go back here, actually. Move the chicken in. Perfect. Do this again. Perfect. And then now we're going to go on to the next bit. So now we're going to get a piston. And I'm going to get some glass. Now glass looks nice and it's spawn proof. So I'm going to use that. And then we move it in with pistons like this. And then break all this. And then perfect. Now we're going to go up here with some glass. And then some blocks here. And then the last bit, we'll just light the portal. Perfect. And that's the portal bit done. You have to do this on the other side too, so over here. And also if you want to, this is optional, like completely optional. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little barrier here. You can go out here, so... Actually, you don't need this bit here. So if you go out here, you can just do this to get with the baby zombie pigmen. So you do get baby zombie pigmen now and then, so... So you can just do that sort of section here, with the egg here. And you can also put an egg here to get the adult ones out. And then that's your zombie... That's your, um, not zombie pig band. That's your wither skeleton skull farm done. It's that simple. So if I clear my inventory... So now some additional things you could do if you want to. Now if you wanted to, you could add, add extra layers. And that is advised really if you want the best rates. You could also do a tiny bit of swarm proofing. Like over here you can see like there's a never waste biome. That could be in the way. So I did put some glowstone in that cave because that is a never waste biome cave and that's going to be in the way. But also you could actually spawn proof it properly as well if you want to. But Okay so I've got the mod mini HUD which kind of shows you like the despawn sphere and other stuff like that and the structure like where the different mobs can spawn in a structure and extra stuff as well like as you can see in the top left corner you can see like my cords and everything this is just a nice simple like F3 debug menu like it's really nice and simple so I use that to design this farm in a way so if you want to if you down if you have it downloaded on your computer or from Minecraft then you can do a D a despawn sphere, so that's 128 blocks. And you can kind of see what parts of the fortress aren't spawn proof. So as you can see, I fully spawn proofed it, and it's kind of like, you don't even need to spawn proof it really. Like, I haven't even done any spawn proofing whatsoever. And this is all you'll probably need to do. You, won't have, you don't actually have to spawn proof any of this either. You can if you want to, but it really doesn't do much. Like, it will help a little bit, but not much at all. Now over here, as you can see, it's the never waste, so you will have to spawn proof this bit here, if you're building building yours here. So as you can see, there's like a never waste here. That's the only bit you'll need to spawn proof, and then you can just leave the farm how it, how it is. So really not that much at all. But this bit here can be left. So as I've got the other farm there, that's also going to decrease the rates, but over here, I've got this farm here. Now this is going to be quite slow just because um, I've got that farm over there, but it should still work. So in a second we'll get a wither skeleton and we'll start getting a bunch of them. Okay, so we've got one. So it does take a bit of time because because of like it has to take a bit of time for them to get through that area and go through the nether portal. You do have to do that otherwise they won't be able to go through the nether portal. And over there it's kind of using up some of the mob cap too. But as you can see we're getting a good amount. Like we haven't, we're not going to get any drop main drops yet, but we will in a minute. If you're going to build the bigger version, which is the two layer one, which you actually should, I, I completely advise build the bigger one. Otherwise, you're not going to get as good rates. You're going to get like quite slow rates. And the count for and this farm, so the one over there, so if it goes to the big one, so this one can produce around 160 drops an hour. 
So what I mean by drops is with the skeleton skulls. So this can on average produce 160. So if you're gonna build a double layer one, which is the one which I like the most, the other one's a bit slow. But if you're gonna build a double layer one, this one this one will give you 160 drops an hour. I'm not sure about that one, but if you're gonna make this one even bigger, you'll get more drops. That's how it works. But I wouldn't make it bigger than three layers, otherwise it's just not gonna it's not gonna do anything extra. So I hope you found this tutorial useful and also enjoyed it in a way. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you want to, you can subscribe. I don't mind. I do this for fun. And if anyone's going to make videos on this design, as long as I get credit, I'll be happy. And also, if you found this design really good, like, I think this design's epic. But if you really like this design, then leave a like. It'll be nice. And if you have any questions about it, if you're having trouble building it, put it in the comment section below. Or you can join my Discord server and put it in the help center, because of course, because then you can send pictures and stuff like that, and it'll be easier for me to help. So if you need help, remember all of that. And I'll see you in the next video if you're going to watch any more, more of my videos. And goodbye.